I believe that dental schools are teaching us the wrong way to prep teeth for crowns. So in dental school, I was taught to break the contacts and then do occlusal reduction, axial reduction, and then once all the tooth was prepped, now we're gonna go do the margin at the end. And I found that to be very difficult to do. And so this way of going and just prepping the gingival margin last, I think is the most difficult way to prep a good margin on the tooth. So in my technique, we do that first. We actually prep the gingival margin right off the bat. Well, it's a second step actually. Right off the bat, we're gonna prep it. It is way easier to prep the gingival margin on a crown prep while the rest of the hard structure of the tooth is still in place. So for this case, we're gonna prep tooth number nine using this technique. And we, tooth number nine is an endodontically treated tooth with some old failing composites in approximately. So we're gonna go ahead and prep this for a crown. So step one of the reverse preparation technique, like most other crown prep techniques, is the break to contacts. So again, I'm just gonna use a 56 burr here. All we're trying to do is create some space between the prep tooth and the adjacent tooth because I'm gonna slip a little retraction cord in here as soon as I do this. So here we are putting in a double zero cord. This is an ultra pack cord from Ultranet and I'm just flossing it into place like it was dental floss and then leaving a little excess on the facial so I can pack that down uh, into that facial sulcus. Now this cord hasn't been soaked in anything. Uh, there's no epinephrine or anything in any of the strands. So it's a totally plain cord. And the reason for that is it's gonna be in place for almost an hour. So this cord's gonna be in place during the impression, during the fabrication of the temporary. We're gonna cut the two ends of it on the lingual so they're gonna get packed flush. They're not gonna overlap each other. We wanna leave room in the sulcus for our second top cord. I remember the first time I tried this and I looked down at the prep and I couldn't believe it. It was the nicest margin I had prepped. And at the time I was 17 years into my career and I handed the mirror to my assistant. I said, take a look at that, what do you think? And she looked at it, she said, wow. I said, yeah. She said, I can't believe you did that. And I was like, you don't get to say that. I, I can say that about myself. You don't get to say I can't believe, especially in front of the patient. Give me the mirror back. And, but she was right. I couldn't believe I had done it either. 